The Iowa Hawkeyes now ranked in the fifth position in the college football playoff, trying to go 10-0 on the season, taking on Tracy Clays, now officially the head coach of the Minnesota Golden Gophers. It's already 7-7 in the second. C.J. Beathard, fancy new unis for the Gophers. Wide open all alone, he runs in to give the Hawkeyes a 14-7 lead. Ensuing possession for Minnesota. Mitch Leidner continuing to have an impressive second half of the season. Finds Brandon Lingen, another wide open fella. That's a 40 yard score. And the Gophers tie it up at 14. Under a minute to play in the half. Iowa with a first and goal. LaShawn Daniels had a career high performance and he fights his way into the end zone to give the Hawkeyes a 10 point lead at the break. Just over a minute to go in the third now on a second and goal for the Gophers. Roderick Williams, back and forth we go. Minnesota's only down by six. To the fourth quarter, same score. Hawkeyes are looking at a third and three. It's C.J. Beathard to Tavon Smith. Smith sheds his man and goes all the way inside the five, setting up a first and goal for the Hawkeyes. And that would be Beathard keeping it. They went for two, didn't get it, so they're up 33 to 21. And it seems like it's going to be a sealed deal when this happens for the Hawkeyes. They're up by five, two minutes and 10 seconds to go. Look at Daniels! He goes 51 yards, had 195 on the day and three touchdowns, but the Gophers wouldn't quit. A fast drive down at the other end has Shannon Brooks pop it in for a score. And that means they're set up for an onside kick. Has to be good though, it can't be. Mm. Bam. 40 to 35, your final score as the drop kick on sidekick does not go. And yeah, you know what that means. Go get the pig. The Floyd of Rosedale returning to Iowa City and the Hawkeyes remain undefeated. You can now chalk it up to a 10 game winning streak for the Hawkeyes. They're 10 and 0 for the first time in program history. And their magic number now sits at one. One more win or one more Wisconsin loss and the division is Iowa's. LaShawn Daniels was the star of the day. He chatted with Lisa Byington afterwards. A career high night. How do you describe what you were able to do? Uh, you know, all credit has to go to the offensive line, uh, the fullbacks and the receivers out there blocking. Uh, you know, they did a fantastic job, opened up holes for me to run through. And, you know, I, with them making holes like that, you know, I just got to go out there and make plays. Yeah, that's saying all the right things. But what were you seeing out there that might have been different tonight? Uh, you know, I just thought that they pursued, you know, to stop like certain plays tonight and, you know, just opened up holes backside. And, you know, I was just able to exploit that. The 51 yarder was also a career long. Take me through that run that kind of sealed the deal. Uh, you know, we just run to the right side. Uh, the offensive line opened up a nice hole. Uh, my fullback uh, uh, ran in there, uh, got a good block, and then, you know, I just had to make one play on the, uh, safety, make a miss, and then go run. First 10-0 start in program history. How has this team gotten to this point? Uh, you know, just, just working hard. Uh, you know, it started all back when in uh, January. You know, we've been working hard ever since, you know, to get to this point. And, you know, we're not done yet, so we just got to keep going. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. He's right, they are not done yet. They were already 9-0. and They're now 10-0 and now. and now. Look at the last time they were 9-0. and They were almost as high, fourth in the BCS at the time ranking. Also were eighth in the AP at that time. Their opponent was unranked, it was a home game. They lost in 09. They won this year, Dave, and they continue marching forward.